Hello, this is a Dr. Drew from Kona. Price point in the UK is 1349, so just shy of the £1,500 mark. I'm going to talk really fast because I've got loads of information to pass over, I'm trying to get this sub, sub, sub seven minutes. Weight point is 12.89 kilos. It is a steel frame. It is built for comfort, not for weight. If you want a lightweight commuter bike, go for Trek or Specialized and try and get a carbon frame from them. Steel frame, it lasts a long time. You can abuse it. It's going to keep you going 15, 20 years time. This frame will still be going with a different set of wheels and a different group set on it, but it's a long lasting frame. Up the front, the tires, WTB tires, 47 width. These are the slick tires from WTB. They might call them semi-slicks, but I would just call it full slick. They're non-tubeless tires, but it's a tubeless ready wheel set. So you can make them tubeless in my experience. Just put some tubeless valves in it, um, fire a good amount of sealant in the tires, and you're good to go. The tires will take it. The, as long as the rims are tubeless ready, you can run tubeless uh, setup. I don't advise it, but if you want to run tubeless, you can do. The brakes, it's standard Shimano brake levers on these, nice and uh, long levers, so a good bit of uh, leverage there. The one thing I would upgrade with this bike is the resin rotors. I would change these out for centered rotors, so like Ice Tech Shimano rotors, uh, and then put some centered brake pads in it. Just gives you a far better braking bite when you're, you're bedding the, the pads in, and long term, centered pads are going to last you a bit longer with this style of bike. These are center lock rotors as well, so bear that in mind if you're ordering a set of discs up, buy center lock rotors. The bolt through 12mm front and rear for the frame, so it means that in the future if you come to upgrade the wheels, you can buy a decent set of wheels for it. They're not quick release, they're bolt through, so you need a 6mm, six 5mm six, Allen key front and rear to remove the wheel set, so bear that in mind if you're carrying a toolkit with you. The wheels are cup and cone bearings, so these are from Shimano, so I would say two, 3,000 miles down the line the cup and cone bearing, you're, you're going to be able to service them, but you're going to get to the point where the surface the bearings run on becomes pitted and you're going to want to upgrade the wheels. That's way down the line of owning the bike. Don't worry too much about that just now. For now, they'll work absolutely fine the way they are off the production line. Crank set, chain set. 12 speed Dior, we've got a 38 tooth up the front, we've got an 11, sorry, a 10 to 51 tooth microspine Dior rear cassette. It is a 12 speed rear mech, so it's got a clutch on it from Shimano, so clutch off, chain flops about, you can take the back wheel off, put the clutch back on, once you put the back wheel on, the chain's nice and tight. This stops it from jumping off the front steel chain ring. Steel chain ring on the front is quite good in my eyes, uh, the, the fat thin tooth technology, Alloy chain rings wear out really fast. We see guys going through a couple of year on mountain bikes. The steel frame one, the steel ring, sorry, it lasts a long time. You can also change this chain ring out so you can bolt a different one on. You'll need to take it to a local bike shop to do this because it's got a special spline at the back of the FSA Comet cranks to undo the nut that holds the chain ring on. But bigger chain ring in the front, faster speed, smaller chain ring, lower speed. So a small chain ring if you're climbing hills big chain ring if you're finding that you're spinning out. If you're finding that you're down in the hardest ring on the back and you you could do with some more speed to try and fit a bigger chain ring to the front. So 38 tooth, custom, just uh, custom, standard out the box, but most of our customers will head towards 40 or just over the 42 tooth mark um, for that. It is a threaded bottom bracket in this steel frame, nice uh, BSA threaded bottom bracket. It's nice, it, it works you can fit any crank set to it. These are very similar to the Holotech system from Shimano, so they're probably paying royalties towards uh, Shimano, to be honest. Uh, stock saddle and stock seat post. So this one is a WTB saddle. It's quite a nice, comfortable saddle. We've found our customers have kept the saddles. They haven't changed them out and upgraded them. Most of them have kept the saddles running. Bolt points on this bike. You see you've got four bolt points on the steel forks up the front there and you've got two bottle cage mounts here. You've also got a proper pannier rack mount off the back. These aren't riveted into the frame, these are welded into the frame. So if you're thinking of doing um, kind of bike packing with this, you can put some proper hefty cages on the back, luggage rack on the back and luggage rack off, rack off the front. You can put some heavy weight on it with no issues of the rivets coming away. The proper bolts as well, they haven't went with alloy bolts. Again, it's a proper bike, it comes with proper kit. It's, they've not went cheap and put alloy bolts everywhere. Alloy bolts in our luggage rack will shear. Try and use steel or stainless steel if you can. What have I missed? Uh, it's a 12 speed shifter up the front here, so it's Shimano Dior. Double um, shift, so it's push and pull to change the, the gears. The headset is fully sealed as well, which is a good thing. Sealed bearings we're talking, so they, it does last a bit longer. I think I've covered it folks. If I've missed anything, do let me know. I'm trying to cover everything here. I've done quite a few bikes a day, so quite often I'll double take and miss some things in the next take. Thanks for watching.